And welcome back. We are about to see a performance from Akbayan, 27th Annual Filipino Cultural Night. Akbayan was started by Filipino and Filipino-American students at San Jose State University back in 1976 and is still active today, helping to spread awareness and appreciation of their culture and heritage. Joining me here is fellow Spartan Mia Guevara. She is the coordinator of the event. So tell us a little bit about this cultural night and first of all, give us sort of an overview of the group itself, like how it got started and uh, why it's still thriving today. So um, Akbayan, like you said, was started in 1976 by a group of um, college students that just wanted to find a, have a place to belong. Mm -hmm. um, so it started that way. It was very social. Um, and then as it grew, um, we we started programs um, like our camp program, which is our is very similar to the Bigs and Littles in um, fraternities and sororities, mm -hmm. um, as well as PCN, as well as our internship program. Um, and and it's. it's you can see it's kind of a place for uh, showcasing talent too, huh? Yeah, um, so PCN is definitely a way for um, our cast members, um, so our general members, to um, be on stage and to do something different um, that you don't usually do in college, which is to perform uh, either acting, singing, cultural dancing, um, or modern dancing. And what about uh, the people outside the community? Is it also to kind of outreach into other communities? Yeah, definitely. So um, this is actually a show that's done not only by us, by, um, but by colleges across the United States. Mm -hmm. um, so with us, um, we like to focus on the San Jose Bay Area community. Mm -hmm. um, so that reaches out, which is very large, um, the Asian Pacific um, community. Um, but yeah, definitely for um, anyone and everyone. Yeah, thank goodness for that. That's why we have the show here. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Give us an idea here in terms of uh, the um, uh, kind of the showcase that it is. Does it help uh, people who want to get into performing arts or what, generally speaking, is it designed to kind of do? Um, it's more so a way for um, people to learn about the Filipino culture. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, pl um, the show is also a play. Mm -hmm. um, and the play is usually a story revolved around the Filipino American culture, the struggles, um, the things that we've gone through as a as a community. Tell us a little bit. I know this is a performance, a dance from within that play. Mm -hmm. What is the play, and, and what is it about? So the play um, is a story. Um, it's a fictional story that I put in the time of the Edsa Revolution that happened in the Philippines. So in 1986. Um, so we're kind of going back in time. And um, usually the way cultural dances work in this story, which is, a, I guess you could consider it a modern story. Mm -hmm. um, so cultural dances are usually put in during, um, to set the mood. So if there's like a fight going on, so what you're gonna see is a, a ma from the mountain suite. And usually the mountain suite um, gives off the, like a, a strong, um, it could be like a fight that happens. And to um, set the mood, you, we would put in this, um, this suite. And it's uh, based on a, a revolution, right? Yes. The overthrow of Ferdinand Marcos? Yes. <laughs> Is that quite a... little a, bit. Yeah, what kind of uh, um, sensitivity are you talking about? Well, the main focus of this story is um, on... It's a love story, actually. Um, so the main focus is not so much on the revolution um, of taking down Marcos. It's more so about... Um, the love story of Maria and Ricardo. Okay, we're going to see a performance from that play. Thank you very much, Mia. Thank you. All right, let's take a look at the uh, the dance from the performance.
That is from Akbayan's 27th annual Filipino Cultural Night and Display Le Bon Friday and Saturday, April 24th and 25th at 6 p.m. at the Elizabeth A. Hangs Theater at the Santa Clara Convention Center. Our thanks to our performers and all our guests today. Please join us again next week and every week here on Asian Pacific America. Thanks for watching.